Hi and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video, I'm going to be looking at evaluating the indefinite integral of cos squared theta d theta. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and I'd be delighted and honoured if you'd subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go over to the whiteboard. Let's look at how we find the indefinite integral of cos squared theta d theta. To evaluate this, we need to manipulate the function using trig identities and we'll use some integration by substitution to arrive at the final solution. Let's begin by using a trig identity to transform cos squared theta such that we have a function that is more easily integrated. We'll use the double angle trig identity of the cosine function to do this. So the trig identity gives us cos 2 theta is equal to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Within this, we can use the trig identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 to replace sine squared theta. So if we do this, we're left with cos 2 theta is equal to cos squared theta minus, and in brackets, 1 minus cos squared theta, which replaces sine squared theta. If we expand the brackets, we're left with cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And if we add 1 to both sides of the equation and divide both sides of the equation by 2, we're left with cos squared theta is equal to 1 half into the bracket of cos 2 theta plus 1. Now we can replace cos squared theta with 1 half into the bracket of cos 2 theta plus 1. If we expand the bracket, we're left with cos squared theta is equal to 1 half multiplied by cos 2 theta plus 1 half. We've now transformed the original integral of cos squared theta d theta into two integrals which are more easily integrated than the original function. So we have 1 half multiplied by the integral of d theta plus 1 half multiplied by the integral of cos 2 theta d theta. Evaluating each of these integrals in turn and starting with 1 half multiplied by the integral of d theta. The antiderivative of d theta is theta, so we're left with 1 half multiplied by theta plus a constant of integration which we can call c1. If we now look at evaluating our second integral where we have 1 half multiplied by the integral of cos 2 theta d theta, for this we'll use u substitution. So to begin, we'll let u equal 2 theta. And so du by d theta is equal to 2, and it follows that d theta is equal to 1 half du. So if we substitute for 2 theta and d theta, we have 1 quarter multiplied by the integral of cos u du. The antiderivative of cos u is sine u, so we're left with 1 quarter multiplied by sine u plus a constant of integration which we can call c2. If we now substitute back in for u, so we know that u is equal to 2 theta, we have 1 quarter multiplied by sine 2 theta plus a constant of integration which we've called c2. This gives us our final answer where the integral of cos squared theta d theta is equal to 1 half multiplied by theta plus 1 quarter multiplied by sine 2 theta plus a constant of integration which we'll call c. 